Covering yourself in dirt could possibly be beneficial to your health. Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. We've got our white t-shirts on and you know what that means. Something's gonna happen to our t-shirts. Okay, I've been spending a lot of my free time, of which I have little, watching nature documentaries because I like to learn about the world. That's just the kind of guy I am. It's human nature. And, uh, and I'd rather watch a uh, video than do actual research or read words. And so I did my Netflix research. And uh, I've noticed that there are lots of animals that tend to, you've seen this, if you've seen any sort of nature documentary, they like to get into the dirt. It seems like they almost might be bathing in the dirt yes. instead of the water. Yes. And you know what, this is an actual concept called dust bathing or sand bathing. And some animals do it in actual dirt. The idea here is that- I've seen a dog roll around in his own poop before. That's different. That's poop bathing, and that's not what this episode's about. That's, that's not, not what we're gonna do. I'm not gonna get that on my shirt. <laughs> okay, good. But the idea is that there are some animals out there that there's something specific about them, like the nature of their hair, or they have feathers, like a bird has feathers, and True. it's less efficient for them to wash off with water, and it's more efficient to actually bathe in dirt. It removes parasites, it uh, cleans them up, Gets it, it seems counterintuitive, but it actually gets stuff off of them that they want off of them. Hmm. And then some animals like to mark their territory to say, this land is my land, not your land, and I'm gonna roll around in the dirt to do it. Transfer some of themselves to the land. So birds, you know quail. You've ever tasted a quail before? I know and love quail, never tasted it. Ever though. tasted a turkey before? Yes. Well both quails and turkeys like to take dust baths and they use their wings to get into groups and they kind of pop up the dirt and the dust to get it on everybody and they take, have it like a dust bath party. And this is therapeutic for good them. For, good for them. Uh, elephants do something a little bit different. You've seen them in the mud. They also take a dust bath, but it's really a mud bath and this is yeah. to cool them down sunblock them or block the sun from them. Yes. Keep bugs off. I love that. Lots of sun animals block. do it for lots of different reasons. Mud now, a very cute animal, a very soft animal called the chinchilla, you may have heard of it before, he likes to take a dust bath too, he you know, being the chinchilla. We should have one of those here. And instead of showing you a stupid video from the internet, we're gonna show you a real chinchilla. Now this is uh, the guy in the middle of Chase. Uh, he's, a, he's our intern and that's the chinchilla on his shoulder there. <laughs> Isn't this great? <laughs> can I hold him? Yeah, absolutely. Do I just, can I, yeah, just kind of grab him. Well, he's, he's, he's pedaling. Yeah, he whoa, whoa, oh no, no, don't spray. Does he spray like a skunk? <laughs> he doesn't Because you were he really is setting so him up for that. Now, this is the softest thing on the planet, I'm, yeah. I'm told, mm -hmm. sincerely. And that's why he takes dust baths because the hair would mat up because it's mm -hmm. so fine, he takes a dust bath. What's his name? AJ. AJ Aj. <laughs> I'll call him Aj. Now we're gonna put him into his home here, which is difficult to see into, but that's why I've got my phone out, because I'm gonna take an epic slow-mo video of AJ doing what we hope is his dust bathing. We've been told by the expert Chase that he's gonna dust bathe as soon as he gets in there, right now, Chase? Now expert Chase, is, is the dust in there already? There yeah, is I can dust see it. in there, there's and, also some dust on the outside. And you, you put him in here daily or what? Yeah, pretty much every day. It's kind of a little treat for him, but also, you know, he loves doing it and it's clean. All right, so you want me to keep it at that angle? Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, okay. I'm going, I'm in slow-mo right now. Okay. There you go, buddy. Oh. Do your thing. Oh, gosh. He's rolling around in there. He's doing it. He's oh, 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 he's barrel roll. <laughs> barrel oh, roll. Oh, oh, he did a barrel roll. Do it again, buddy. Oh, what? Look at that. Now, when do I pick it up and shake it, or? No, he'll just do his own thing. He seems like he's done. He, he went once to the left and once to the right, and then he wrapped it up. <laughs> <laughs> this is sweet. Okay, so that's how Chinchilla does it, but you know what? When we see animals doing fun things like taking baths in dirt, we have to ask ourselves naturally, what would why, it be like why for, not us? for us people to do it? And so that's what we're gonna do. Let's go take a dirt bath. Okay, we've got a baby pool full of dirt. This is where we're gonna take our dust bath. You excited? A little bit. Okay, well let's just step right in. Now, I'm not a professional. Woo, it's hot. Oh, it's a, it's oh. hot. Woo. That dust is toasty. Hooray. Okay, well the first thing we wanna do, Link, uh, is we want to, like many animals that takes, take dust baths, we wanna mark our territory. 
So what we're going to want to do is get your body down in here and you want to transfer some of your pheromones onto your part of the pool so you can mark your territory so I won't accidentally come into your spot. And what? M mate with the wildlife? Okay, let's do it. Okay. <laughs> I'm sure that looks appropriate. Where are the pheromones? Where do they come out? Oh, God. I think there's pheromones under your arms, so get your armpit down in there. Right, right, right. Don't, don't get your pheromones. Put your pheromones over there. This is my spot. I'm, just, I'm bringing it to me. God. Oh, that feels good. The, sand, the, the dust underneath is a lot cooler. All right, this is my territory. All right. Wait a minute. Move over. Okay. Okay, uh, the next thing is the bird technique is uh, you want to use your wings to flap up as much dust as possible to work it into multiple body areas. Okay, so you want to kind of get down like a goose or a turkey. <clears throat> no, you, you know, it's got to flap. No. Like this, like this, like this. This is how the turkeys did it. I'm going to do that a few more times. Well, you're not, no, no, you, I don't like your technique. You need to flap. You don't you need, like my technique? Need, it's, it's, it's down here. Get, get your breastbone. Get, 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 get your breastbone. Oh, God. <laughs> I hit you on your the wing. elbow. Your wing hit my <laughs> wing. So now we're going to do the chinchilla technique, which is a barrel roll. I just did I'm gonna this. Start from right here. And uh -huh. Turn over like this. And then I come back. This is also my next workout DVD. It's called Barrel Roll with Rhett. So you're gonna right, do this, and you're gonna tap like this. Boom! And then you back up. All right, here we go. Yep. And now back up. Nice. Okay. Now, okay. Oh, here we go. Okay. Now together. <laughs> you, you said you were going way. that way. <laughs> oh. 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 One, two. Oh, oh, you got me right, right yeah. at the gluteus. Oh. Oh. Okay. Here, let me. Let's do a face bath. This is. I don't remember face bath. <laughs> okay. Fun times. So now uh, we're gonna go elephant technique, which is really more of a mud bath. Oh, that feels so good. Woo. <laughs> Let me clean oh. your face off. Yeah, give it to me. Yeah. Oh, right here. Hit me one more. Hit me one time, like Brittany. Okay. Okay. Now let's okay. Put it in here. It's gotta turn more into mud. Oh, it's it's doing it. Oh, look at that. All right. Elephants take mud baths to cool themselves down, which that's already happening. They also use it as sunblock and a way to keep the bugs away. So let's see how much, yeah, let's see how much we can get on each other. All right, I'm gonna block some of the sun and keep some of the... I'd hate for the top of your head to get sunburnt, right? All right. Boy, right off your hair. It didn't, don't put it in my ear. I don't need sunblock in my ear. Sunblock, man. Your hair. What kind of product you put on there? Everything slides off. You got never wet on your hair? Now I gotta tell you, I don't know about those chinchillas, but uh, the elephants understand something. Fine elephant! Patty cake, patty cake, bakers Mythical Beast, what have we learned today? Uh, well, I have learned that dust baths are probably not for humans. I think that should be left to animals with hair that is very fine or feathers. But mud baths are not just for elephants. They're for people too. Oh yeah, I highly recommend it on a hot summer day. If you've got dirt and you've got water, you've got everything you need. A trunk optional. You don't really have Trunks to have. Trunks optional, uh, depending on who your company is. Trunks. <laughs> I think you should wear swimming trunks, unless you're alone. All right, thanks for liking and commenting on this video. You, you know, know what, what time it is. Hi, I'm Arbelezi from Prison in Kosovo, and it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality. Make sure you're following us on Twitter, at Rhett Link. Every day, we tell you what weird holiday it is, and you need to know that kind of thing. Yeah, you do. You also need to click through to Good Mythical More, where we have some special time with AJ the Chinchilla. <laughs> <laughs> All right. 
<laughs> Deep talk about cereal. Hey man, check this. Shiny bowl of cereal. You know? Mm. Yeah? What, man? Just look at it. Yeah, it makes me think about myself. I like, know. Like, sometimes I feel like I'm drowning. In and, life. I know. And, I'm like, I'm turning the chocolate. I mean, I'm turning the milk a different color. You're turning to chocolate? I turn the milk a different color sometimes. What I mean by that is, like, I have a negative impact on people. I'm sorry about that. But, dude, this is raisin bran. Oh, well, those aren't raisins, man. <laughs> They're chocolate? <laughs> Look how small the hand is. Your hand is useless. It's not big enough to do nothing with. Your hand is not big enough to do oh, anything with. Oh, sometimes. Just kind of like that.